After nearly two years, Iowa's public health emergency proclamation associated with the coronavirus has ended, as well as certain changes meant to help with a worker shortage in hospitals. The details in our top story tonight at 6. That proclamation suspended some laws and regulations regarding training and certification for health care workers. That idea was that it made it easier for people to get started working in hospitals and clinics. With the proclamation ending, those laws and regulations now are no longer in effect. However, with case numbers also dropping, the strain on the health care system is waning, making it easier for health care workers to return to work and focus on everyday patients. An urgent care doctor says it's good to know relief is in sight. It's been difficult, especially with the strain on our health care system and the high number of COVID patients we've been seeing in the last two years. It was very difficult to keep up with staffing, and that continues. However, uh, it seems that we have a, a little bit less demand now, and so we're able to care for other types of patients uh, more, just like we always have. Other changes now that Governor Kim Reynolds' proclamation has expired include only once a week coronavirus updates instead of the three times a week during the pandemic. Emergency funding made available over the last two years will now stop flowing as well throughout the state.